What's up guys, Crane here from LogicLounge.com. Today, I'm sitting at my computer. Why? I'm gonna show you how to record your iPhone screen with a simple Mac application. The application is very cool. Basically, you start it up and it turns your computer into an AirPlay server. You need to make sure you're on the right network as well, so both systems need to be on the same Wi-Fi network or the same uh, network in general so they'll be able to see each other. And when you start up the application, you want to go into your iPhone. We'll come on over to the MacBook Pro here where we'll see uh, my iPhone's already in there. So I'm going to demonstrate here using the already AirPlayed iPhone to show you what you need to do when you get your iPhone to AirPlay. So you want to open up your uh, quick switch task manager. I don't really know what I call it, but you go all the way over to the right here and you see your volume controls and you also see this button next to it with the square and the triangle. And you click it and that is your AirPlay settings and you want to find where it says your computer. So this one is Master Chief, which is my laptop computer and you want to turn mirroring on. And then it will pop up just like this and you'll be able to see the iPhone uh, screen. And you can see it has very little lag in general. It has auto portrait orientation. So if I go into an application where you can view it sideways, uh, it will work properly. Let's actually go into Google Maps here and I'll be able to demonstrate that for you guys. So if I were to now, after it loads up to turn it, it automatically portrait orients it to the right setting. So I find that feature very cool and very useful for something if I'm doing uh, walkthroughs on an iPhone. Now you can see it has very little lag. All of the animations are in there. It's very cool and I, I love this uh, application. I've been using it for the past week or so. No real issues to complain about. You can use the application to uh, record as well. So Reflector even record, uh, you can record your screen with or without this bezel. So if you're doing video tutorials like I am, it's perfect for that and I find it a very useful feature. Check it out, Reflector will have a link down in the description for it. Turns your iPhone, iPad, iPad mini into, well, using it on your desktop. You can use it with all those programs, no issues whatsoever. I'm very happy with it and, well, it's money well spent for me. The application really doesn't have too many features that I can, well, not too many features at all, really. You can just optimize the resolution. You can uh, change the AirPlay name, make it a password, launch it full screen, uh, add different um, effects. You can see there, as I'm going back and forth, you can see the current frames per second. It averages about 30-ish, which is kind of cool. The other settings are forcing landscape, starting recording, which is very cool because you can record it either with or without a bezel. Uh, what else? Oh, you can show the frame or not show the frame depending on how the video you want to be. But hey, it's something very cool, very useful for me in the coming future when I do application reviews. So, well, very cool application. Be sure to use the link down below uh, for us uh, to get some credit from them and to show them that they, well, we sent you. So, thank you so much. My name is Creighton Miller. You can email me, Creighton at LogicLounge.com. You can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, all under the username of Logic Lounge. Thank you so much for liking and sharing. We always appreciate that. We'll see you guys next time.